What's going on guys? It's here Eddie and in this video I am going to share with you a new product that I bought for my camera and this product I have opened because I have used but I'm going to show you the product that I use to hold my Sony digital camera with and I'm going to share with you other details. Let's jump right into it. I am going to go ahead and show you my camera's tripod. So you can see the tripod that I use to be able to mount my camera and have it stable and a lot easier to use while I'm filming videos for you guys. Showtime. I'm going to show you the item now. Ready. Showtime. This is the box that the product came in. And this is how it works camera and the tripod or the mounter. It comes with a tripod, a little bag or its sack. Now I'm going to show you the product so you can see it. And it's got many features. That's why I like it. And it's very strong. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Even though I have used it before. But I have it in a box. First, this is the, this is the little sack. This is a sack that comes with it. And this is to put the tripod in. And it comes also with the battery. I did not know that until I just saw it. Well, put it right there. Now, the product. Showtime. <laughs> and this is the tripod. It's very strong. I really like it. And I can move it by pressing this button right here with the thumb. I can go ahead and move the top. And if I release it, it won't move. I have to press the button in and be able to move the top part. Now, this has many features also. When I mount the camera on top of this silver little part right here, then I can connect it. I can connect my camera to the tripod with a USB cable. And then I can, it will be easier for me instead of using the camera to turn the buttons to be able to take pictures and record. All I got to do is use this tripod. This button's right here. As you can see, it has the movie, the photos and other other buttons to zoom it to go back yeah to be able to zoom up and down which means if i want to zoom the lens to go far 
I have to use this. If I want the zoom to come to go backwards, to have a better view, to have a better view, I can see closer. I will use the upper button. Now, to have a wider space of the environment, I have to move the lens back. So I have to move the lens back to be able to have a wider view of the environment. And this tripod requires a battery to be able to use. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open the tripods like that. And this is what it looks like. So I just open the legs of the tripod and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. So I pressed on this button right on the side to be able to rise this top up. This is the way, this is what it looks like. And it's a Sony because that's my brand. I like Sony. I always like Sony. Now, regarding the battery, it goes right on the back. And I have to open this door right here. Which I'm going to do. And it's going to take me a little... Kind of hard to open. Okay, I just opened it. And that's what it looks like. And the back. And it requires a circle battery that I just showed you to be able to work. It requires... It requires this type of battery. And it goes right on it goes right on this space right here around right the center. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place the door back. Just like that. And it also comes with its booklets. All the instructions. So now if you want to see, I'm going to show you what the camera looks like on the mounter. So let's get that done. This is my brand new camera and right at the bottom or right under it, it has that little hole right there, that silver hole. Well, that's where I'm going to mount the camera on this part right here. So I can just go ahead and close it. Put it right up there. And all I'm going to do is just go ahead and... Sometimes you will have kind of problems with it because it's it's hard, but you just got to find a way to lock it up and to unlock it either way. But, I mean, it works great. It's very... This tripod is very strong, very stable. And I have just locked it. Now I can go ahead and connect the camera to the tripod. Now if you want to see how it works, I'm going to show you the movements of the camera with the tripod. So
just like that. You can just sit it, you can just sit it like that to record. You can hold it, you can move it out of the way to the back like that. I'm going to show you the different ways that on how you can use the tripod moving the camera so you can record. So that's one way. You can also hold the camera like this. Just like that. And lift the LCD. If I wanna record myself, I just go and go like this. I just place it like this. And if I'm recording, whatever I'm recording, if I'm recording food, I always have to see to make sure that it's right on the camera. Right on, I always have to make sure that it's right on the LCD, that everything's good when I'm recording. Now, if I'm recording just something, I just go ahead and close. I just go ahead and put the LCD down and then I can just go ahead and see the screen. Just like that. But if I want to record, I can just, you know, meet with other people or the environment. I can just go ahead and go like this. Something like that. This is to record myself or with other people in their environment, or when I'm recording like food or something like that, I'm just going to re have it have the LCD up because I wanna record myself and my environment as to what I'm doing. But if I wanna record other people or the environment, I just go ahead and put the LCD down like that and I start recording. But when the tripod is basically connected to the camera, I don't have to use these buttons right here or the recording right there. I don't have to use that. All I gotta use is this buttons right here to be able to record or to take a picture. I just gotta press those buttons. But the camera has to be connected with the cable to the tripod in order for me to use this bunch right here. To zoom it, to go back, to record, to take a picture. Once I take a picture, the camera automatically does it. If I wanna record, it will switch to record. If I wanna take a picture, it will switch to picture. Whatever I do here, the camera will do because of the USB cable. But I have to play the battery, and be able to do all that. So this is how this tripod works. I really like it, I use it. I haven't used it with the, with the battery yet. But now I'm gonna go ahead and start using it with the battery to be able to record. I'm gonna make a video based on that. But this is it with this um, tripod and this is it with this tripod. I really recommend. It's a great tripod. It has many features that instead of using the camera to turn the buttons, all you gotta do is just use the buttons from this tripod and it will automatically do it. At a fast speed, it will record and it will also take a picture. So 
That's what I like about the tripod and also the rest of the features that it has. It also has Bluetooth. I can also use Bluetooth with the camera to be able to bring it to the tripod. Yeah, this tripod requires Bluetooth and this camera right here has that feature. This Sony digital camera has Bluetooth so I can be able to use with this tripod right here. And from one to 10, I will give this tripod a 10. It's a great tripod. In my opinion, I give it a 10. I recommend. For this tripod right here, for the camera, the type of batteries that it needs is this kind. And this is the model, or actually this is the SQU code number to get this batteries. It's right here. If, if you decide to buy this kind of tripod, regarding the code to get the tripod, the code to get the tripod is this one right here. That's the code or the SQU code. If you wanna search for it on line at Best Buy, or when you go to the store, you just give them this number and they'll find in the computer system by giving that number to them. They will search it up in the system and they'll be able to see if they have it if you decide to own a tripod like this. So this is basically it with this tripod and the battery. Now, this is it with the tripod. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you saw value and enjoy the video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and also that like button and get the subscribers up. Make sure to also share the video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. This is Eddie and see you in the next video.